Hey folks, welcome back to my game room again. I'm David McCord and uh, I'm going to bring you another little how-to video. This time it's a game from Korea called Five Field Kono. In Korea they call it Opat Kono. The rules to Five Field Kono were first published in the late 19th century uh, by the American game historian Stuart Kulin. He called the game Five Field Kono at that time his own rough interpretation of the Korean name. So that name kind of stuck, and so now it's still called Five Field Kono. Uh, the game itself is of the genre of uh, Halma, or uh, even Chinese checkers, if you understand those games as a matter of getting all your pieces from one side of the board to the other. But the fact that it's a small board uh, with few pieces doesn't make it any less challenging uh, to win this game of placement. So let's just uh, take a quick look at the rules here of how to play Five Field Kono. Five Field Kono is a two-player game with a familiar theme. The objective is to move all your pegs to the other side of the board, arranged like your opponent's pegs were at the start of the game. In that way, it's similar to the games Halma, Grasshopper, and Chinese Checkers. The pegs begin as shown here, and the first player is randomly decided. On each turn, players move one peg, one space, diagonally in any direction. There are no orthogonal moves, and no jumping, and no capturing. It's strictly a game of movement and maneuvering. There is one interesting catch to get your pieces out of the starting formation. If the game ends with one of your pieces still in its starting position, your opponent can claim it as their own to win. If the game gets blocked and neither player can make a meaningful move, the two can agree to call it a draw and set up for a rematch. Now historically the game can be played on uh, a board that's scratched into the dirt or drawn on a piece of paper. Of course ours is a peg beam version of the of the game here. Um, but in the past the uh, Boards have been produced with fancy inlays of ivory and pearl and uh, you know gold trim and brass pieces and etc. Um, it's a revered game for many generations in Korea and uh, a really fun little filler. I definitely encourage you to check it out. Uh, as I say, it's part of our Peg Pass Time series um, and uh, along with uh, 20 some other games and uh, you can see those at uh, the Red Hen website. Uh, learn a little bit more about it from the New Venture website as well. Meanwhile, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel and share this information with other folks and tune in in the future for episodes on more how-to videos like this one as well as discussions about games uh, in general. So meanwhile, as I always say, be sure to play every day.